Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast for A Better Sweet Symphony Part 2, the highly anticipated, much talked about and discussed episode has finally aired, just wrapped up and you know so many emotions and thoughts going through everyone's head right now, um, as many expected. Uh, Cam did indeed commit suicide and will no longer be on the show after Eli and Claire sort of stumbled upon him in the greenhouse. You know, I mean, not to be like a morbid person, but, you know, we didn't really see Cam. I mean, there was that far shot that showed the red kind of in the, through the glass. I don't know if that was supposed to be him or not. I mean, it didn't really resemble anything. You know, like I said, not to be like this morbid person who wants to see, you know, a dead body and that kind of thing. Um, Even if they just did, you know, a quick flash with, you know, his face not showing to the camera, like his backside, just so we can see, you know, the image that, that Eli felt, that that character felt. You know, it almost sort of felt like a cop-out, like, you know, it never really even happened. You know, and just a, just a brief, you know, complaint on that. And I understand, you know, we have, you know, younger audience watching. It is a very sensitive topic. It's very emotional. Um, but I just think that whole scene could have been done a little better. You know, I mean, everything all happened right before, you know, even the opening titles, which on one hand is good, you know, because it got the episode started and flowing and everything right away. But I just think the whole thing would have worked better as an hour-long episode, you know, with a week-long break, and then it starts, you know, back up again, and all of a sudden Cam's dead, and it's, you know, to me the pacing and that whole kind of thing was just off a little bit, and I would have liked to see, you know... Not a graphic, but, you know, a brief glimpse of, you know, through Eli's eyes of what he saw so we can better understand, you know, what his character is going through. But that's just, you know, a minor, understandable thing. Uh, one of the things that I really enjoyed in the episode was the montage of Maya playing her instrument, you know, and showing the different cast members and their emotions and what they were going through. That was a very cool scene. Uh, Dallas was the star of this episode. Better than Maya, better than everyone, Dallas was absolutely sensational, phenomenal, great acting, I mean, some of the best scenes, you know, in this new generation, and probably, you know, in the top, maybe 20, 25 scenes of all time, you know, just the scene with him completely freaking out in the alley, you know, breaking the glass, kicking the garbage, you know, combined with him drinking on the roof, you know, with Fiona, I mean, just everything was absolutely fantastic, you know, and I definitely got to give it up to him, did a fantastic job, you know, and I, I love that, you know, he was drinking again in school, you know, great continuity there, I don't know where he got, you know, beer so quickly, but, you know, a, a little uh, quip there, but, you know, definitely everything regarding Dallas was, was just, was great, you know, Maya was also great in this episode as well, her speech at the vigil, you know, her sort of breakdown in front of everyone was very expected, you know, was great, um, very realistic for her character. You know, the final scene with her holding Hoot was fantastic as well, you know, very good, I love that. And, you know, just the, the preview for next week, we know this is going to have a huge impact on Eli. And the, the scene with him and Jake, you know, I wasn't sure if they were supposed to be high. I don't know if they kind of were just supposed to assume that they were high. They seemed a little, you know, kind of spacey, but then again, you know, someone did just, you know, die and Eli experienced it. But, you know, I love the setup with Eli and, you know, Eli's, the character has been going through, you know, so many things in the past several episodes and seasons with, you know, depression and medication and, and just everything in this world is always, you know, he has these extreme highs and these extreme lows. And now he saw, you know, a dead body of a fellow student of someone, you know, that he knew. And that's definitely going to lead to, you know, some crazy things as seen in the preview. And, you know, speaking of Eli, I like the scene as well with him and Dave kind of incorporating, you know, what Dave's dad does and Eli kind of asking how his dad got through it, you know, seeing the dead bodies every day. And, you know, a lot of great continuity, a lot of great, um, scenes tonight pairing up different characters and the emotions 
for the most part, it's pretty great. I just wish it would have been, you know, an hour long. Um, and I think, you know, the rest of this season is definitely going to be, you know, impactful. You know, what's going to happen next for Maya's character? And, of course, you know, Eli, the one who is going to be affected almost just as much, if not more, than Maya because he actually saw, you know, Cam after he committed suicide. So, all in all, great episode. I am very excited to find out, you know, what will happen next. The stuff with Eli looks very interesting. And I will talk to you all next week.